Welcome to Sundas lecture. Uh, this is lecture number 66 and in this lecture we are going to see transient responses of RC circuit for DC input. Right? So, uh, now this is the circuit. right? So, in the circuit let us assume that the current flowing through the capacitor let it be 10 amperes and the capacitor value I am just taking it as 5 farad. For example, let me explain the uh, procedure how to find what is the voltage across this uh, capacitor I am just doing these kind of things right. So, so first let me uh, take this uh, current value what is I of t what is I of t we know that I of t in the capacitor can be written as what C d v by d t right C d v by d t we know this expression because uh, current in the capacitor can be uh, found by using the differentiating the voltage with respect to time right that we know this these are all basic things. And if I substitute what is the I of t, let, let me write this as now 10 and what is C now? It is 5 and it will be dv by and dt. And I can write this as now dv by dt can be written as 10 by 5, it will be 2. And if I integrate on both sides, what I will get? I will get v that is, is equal to integration of 2 into dt. Uh, let me assume one thing. Uh, see, I am just going to close this switch at a particular time and before that there is no current flows through this capacitor which means if there is no current then V of 0 I am just taking it, taking it to be 0. There is no voltage across the capacitor before connecting this voltage so that 10 amperes of current is flowing through the whole, uh, this capacitor and see if it is so, so V can be now written as 2T integration if you integrate it with the uh, t with respect to t then constant will be like this then plus a will come that is integrating constant and what is the a now if I want to find what is a then you need to substitute v of 0 is equal to 0 and if it is so then v of 0 that should be is equal to 2 into 0 plus a and what is this value this is actually 0 and this is 0 and a is equal to 0 directly you can write it down so so v can be written as what it is 2t right so, if I want to draw the graph, uh, how will I draw the graph? See, let me take this as the y axis and this as the x axis and I am just taking x axis as time. So, this is now 1 second, 2 second, 3 and then 4 and then 5. Now, let me take this as now 2 into 5. Okay, this is now 2, 4 and then 6 and then 8 let it be 10 volt. This is voltage and this is now time axis. If, if 2 is equal to 1, if I substitute 2 is equal to 1, what I will get? 2 is equal to 1, I will get 2 voltage. I will have a point here. If I substitute 2 here, 2 into 2, it will be 4, then it will be here. And if I test 3, then it will be 6. And if it is 4, then it will be 8. And if it is 5, then it will be 10, right? Maybe it will come around here. So, see, see, let me assume that, let me assume that the rated voltage of the capacitor, V rated, V rated of capacitor, I am just taking it to be 10 volt, taking it to be 10 volt, right. So, now, so now, this points can be connected and it is linearly increasing, right. With respect to time, my voltage is linearly uh, increasing. So, see, this point, this is nothing but when switch is closed up to this point switch is now closed right now switch is closed so for example what i am going to do now switch is now opened if switch is opened opened at what time see 5 seconds at t is equal to 5 seconds let it be 5 seconds then what happens if switch is opened then, then the current flowing through the capacitor becomes zero, right? Am I right? So, current flowing through the capacitor because this voltage is disconnected. So, current becomes zero here. So, see what is the expression for I of t? I of t can be written as C dV by dt. This expression we know and here the current will be zero now because this switch is open. So, this will be 0 and if C comes to here in the denominator that will also become 0 
and now see dv by dt will be zero what is this one this one we have already seen see we would have studied everything in the inductor just we are refreshing the capacitor just we we are going to compare inductor with the capacitor if it is voltage in uh, capacitor then it will be current in inductor if current in inductor then it voltage in the capacitor that is the only difference right so no change in no change in voltage so if there is no change in voltage then after 5 seconds what happens this will be the point and this will be hold this this point will be hold this is after switch is closed this portion this portion this sorry this is switch is opened after switch is open i'm just moving fast because these kind of things we have seen everything in the inductor right so switch is open so now how much of voltage that has been stored in the capacitor now so voltage voltage in the capacitor in the capacitor is now what is the value it is 10 volt this is forever this is forever the voltage 10 volt will be stored because i have open circuit no change in current uh, sorry no change in voltage so this 10 volt will be now stored this is actually 10 volt 10 volt right so this is how the capacitor will work can I, can capacitor store energy yes it can store energy how will uh, how much of energy that this capacitor can store let me derive the expression for that see i have written it as capacitor can store energy so how will it store see what is the p of t now so p of t can be written as now v into i i can write like this and what is v uh, v can be written as v what is i here i can be written as what c dv by dt we know this one right this is actually power expression and if you want to uh, write for the energy what is the formula for energy energy which is nothing but it is power into time right it is power into time and what I am going to do, I am just going to do this P of T into DT. I am just multiplying with some time. So, it will be CVC into DV by DT. It can be multiplied by DT, right? It can be multiplied by DT. And what is this? This is nothing but W. I am just intimating or just indicating it by W. So, DW can be written as this term can be cancelled out. So, VC into DV. So, if I integrate on both sides, if I integrate on both sides, so see I am just moving fastly, be with me. So, this will be now W and this integration can be now, uh, see this is CV integration of, uh, oh, sorry. So, C uh, will, be out, will be the constant and it will be outside. So, it will be DT. So, see I am just going to take for, for time, uh, some 0 to T for uh, minus infinity to 0, I am just considering it to be 0. There is no voltage present across the capacitor and up to some time t. So, I will get this expression. So, if you simplify this, then obviously I am not going to simplify. It is very easy to simplify, uh, 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 apply the upper limit minus lower limit, everything. See what is the final expression you will get? You will get half C B square. That is all. So, this is the, this is the energy stored in the capacitor formula now for this example for this example what will be the energy stored what will be the energy stored so what is the voltage in the capacitor it is nothing but 10 volt and what is the value of c it is 5 right so 5 farad so we know that this capacitor is 5 farad and what is the final voltage of across the capacitor that is 10 volt and how much of energy would have been stored so w is equal to half into c v square and what will you get so this will be half into 5 into what you will get this value will be 10 square right so you will get 100 uh, this one is 100 divided by 2 it will be 50 so 50 into 5 what you will get so i am just write down 50 into 5 it will be 250 joules so this is the energy stored in the capacitor for the previous one for the previous example we have taken see whether we need to open circuit this to get the voltage stored in the capacitor no 
what we can do we can go for rc circuit now right that we will take up see now we have considered rc circuit and we are going to see charging a capacitor so how we are going to char charge the capacitor using rc circuit see i have connected a voltage and uh, there is a resistor and there is a capacitor here see uh, i am just considered v of 0 is equal to 0 which means uh, while the circuit is connected or the z is connected there is no voltage across this capacitor i am just assuming that so if i write kvl so applying kvl what you will get the current is flowing in this direction so it will be e minus i of t into r i of t into r and this is now we are traveling from plus to minus so it will be minus of v of t that should be is equal to 0 right so this is the expression we can write it down so what is i of t we know that i of t is equal to c dv by dt so e minus r into c dv by dt and this is minus v that should be is equal to 0 and uh, you see uh, we just try to get this one you bring this to other side what you will get so rc into dv by dt plus v of t maybe we can write maybe v of t that should be is equal to e see uh, we we want only dv by dt right so what we can do we can just divide the expression by rc divided by rc so what you will get it will be now dv by dt and then plus it will be now 1 by rc 1 by rc into v of t and this will be is equal to e by rc so this is the expression now you see we know everything we we can easily proceed it now how see this is the first order differential equation and v is the term and if you want to find what is v of t uh, what is v of t that is the unknown parameter and what we can write it down we can directly first order differential equation what you will get it will be a e power minus a what is a here <laughs> what is a here it is 1 by rc right so 1 by rc uh, 1 by rc into t that is the first term this is natural function and then plus what is the other term so other term will be k into x plus k2 k1 into x plus k2 x dot and then plus k3 x double dot and it goes to infinity right this is the term right can you understand we have directly written now uh, we don't need to spend much time to simplify these kind of problems and we need to substitute this right so v of t can be written as a e power minus t by rc i'm just writing like this plus c k1 into x what is x this is now forcing function right this is the forcing function that is e by rc and then you see if i put plus x dot what is x dot x dot we need to differentiate this one right with respect to time so there is no t <laughs> so what happens to this expression it becomes zero directly with the first differentiation if it is a dc if it is a constant value then straight away it will become zero so this term will not exist and see this is the this is the natural function huh? this is the v natural function natural function and this is the uh, v forcing function and this forcing function should satisfy what this differential equation now see uh, it is very easy now it is very easy d by dt of this term this term k1 into e by rc right plus what is the term that is 1 by rc 1 by rc into v of t what is v of t but that is the for forcing function it, it alone should satisfy what e by rc and that should be is equal to what e by rc we know this so what happens to this term obviously it becomes zero there is no t term if you are differentiating the constant you will get zero and uh, what happens to this one now it will be uh, what uh, uh, what will you get uh, this is e by rc am i right any, any mistakes we have made any mistakes see see uh, what we have done see what is this k1 into constant this is actually e by rc is constant right so this term this term can be written as what commonly k1 because this is constant we have we have seen this one right so this one uh, we can directly write k1 into into e by rc there is no t term so it will it will, it will be constant right so what i can write it down this expression this expression 
can be written commonly can be written commonly it is k1 right k1 so what is the expression you will get so i have already told you see my previous lecture i would have told you if it is multiplied by 2 or it may it is multiplied by t take it as constant k1 right so see k1 by rc that should be is equal to what it is e by rc right so this rc and this rc will be cancelled out and finally i will get k1 is equal to e that is the thing k1 is equal to e right so how i can write this one now so v of t can be written as a e power minus t by rc and this k1 i am just writing it as now e right this is e so what i have taken v of 0 now we have found what is the final solution and what is v of 0 v of 0 is 0 so substitute v of 0 is equal to 0 in this expression so this will be now a e power 0 a e power 0 will be 1 so it will be a plus e so finally what i will get so a can be written as it is minus e right so a will be minus e a plus e is equal to 0 so if you substitute so you substitute e a in this expression so finally you will get v of t which is, is equal to c i will write the c first e see instead of a i have to write minus e so it will be minus e e power minus t by rc that's all so for example i can write this expression as like this too so v of t can be written as <clears throat> e into 1 minus e power minus t by rc right this value now what you do <laughs> we just we are just going to draw the diagram so how will you draw the diagram so take this as now x axis this as now uh, maybe y axis this as now x axis and make it as time axis and voltage axis so this is uh, this is the voltage axis and this is the time axis let me do one thing what what we need to do we have to substitute v of 0 if you substitute v of 0 in this expression if t is 0 so if t is 0 what happens this term becomes 1 1 minus 1 will be what 0 so i i can mark at t is equal to 0 v will be 0 i can directly map, map it down right so if v is infinity v is infinity what happens now so if it is infinity so a minus infinity value will be 0 e power minus infinity will be 0 so 1 minus 0 will be 1 it will be e right so it will be now e so this curve how will how will this curve come this will be now exponentially increasing and then it will reach to the reach the point e and it will be withstand e can be withstand right so i am just writing it down in a different color see this is nothing but e this is nothing but e let me ask you one question see this is at uh, t is equal to 0 and this is t is equal to infinity the same question i am going to ask you the same question will it take infinity time to get, to get to this point e no it is not uh, it will not take that much of time to reach point e but you see let it let me do one thing let me take a new page say i have taken it to the new page let uh, let what we do now maybe t is equal to rc let it be t is equal to rc just i am considering it to be tau because that is the time constant if it is rc then if you substitute in this e equation if it is v of t is equal to e power 1 minus e power minus t is rc right so rc by rc it will be 1 so e of 1 minus e power minus 1 and what is the e power 1 minus e power minus 1 if you simplify this you will get 0 0.632 e this is the v of t value now. so what is the expression we are getting down here if t is equal to if t is equal to tau if t is equal to tau then we will get v of t which is, is equal to 0 0.632 e that means 63.2 percentage it will be reached out to the point e right so we can just write it down maybe maybe i, I will use a different color see this point if this is t is equal to tau Right? If this is t is equal to tau, 
then this value this value will be 0 0.632 e see at one tau at one tau i will reach 63 percentage of e maybe if it is two tau then i will reach up to the point uh, maybe nearly we can uh, achieve the point e maybe 99 percentage e right so so i commonly write what is the time constant time constant this is very important time constant of rc that means resistor capacitor circuit resistor capacitor circuit that i will commonly tell that is tau is equal to rc and at this time and at this time my circuit or my capacitor will get 63.2 percentage of voltage applied across the capacitor that is the thing you have to understand if it is rl circuit then uh, then for the time constant maybe i will write it down maybe you try to compare so that you can easily understand so time constant of rl circuit rl circuit see in rl circuit you would have got it in a different way right r by l so here it is l by r l by r you you need to get this this point has to become one <laughs> that is why we are taking it as a time constant now at this point it will reach 63.2 percentage of maybe there what you will get uh, that is e by r e by r there it is current right because it is current it will be e by r see try to understand one thing this time constant is very important why this time constant is coming down so we have we have derived it but v is equal to 0 it is 0 at v is equal to infinity it is e um, will it take infinity time no it won't take infinity time it will take only 63 percentage of the voltage applied across the capacitor can be reached by tau time that you understand see another thing uh, will this capacitor is needed now no it is not needed why if it is connected like this then this this uh, capacitor can store this e voltage across this one at infinity time but the current through this resistor will make power loss and now some power will be dissipated right so what you do you put a switch here and you open the switch even if you open this switch that is what we have seen in the inductor please please you go through the inductor uh, circuit that we have uh, learnt in the previous classes so that you can easily compare i am just comparing directly i will compare now i am not going to uh, teach you very deeply if you open circuit this one uh, then also this capacitor will store 10 volt sorry not 10 volt this e volt e voltage can be stored in the capacitor even if you open circuit this one after a stipulated time that is the concept you have to understand right so you please go through this and now we have understood how to charge a capacitor now in the second next class uh, we will try to learn what is the concept behind discharging the capacitor see what are all the topics we have seen today see we, we have taken a transient uh, we have taken a circuit where e is connected across the capacitor and we try to learn what is the voltage that is stored in the capacitor and also we have taken rc network rc network and we try to learn at infinity time what is the voltage across this capacitor it is simple to understand at infinity time this capacitor will get this voltage even if it is connected through the inductors through the resistor this capacitor will obviously store this e right that is the thing you have to understand we you go through this one we will see in the next class thank you